This is Richard Miller with Balanced Guitar. Today's lesson is, is what I call the last shall be first. And it's a lesson for beginners on changing chords. So often beginners are, are changing chords and um, they have some difficulties with it. And I'm going to give a, l a little insight about how to make that effortless. So <coughs> mistakes are our teachers. Often, we try to avoid mistakes. Like, we ignore them, we wish they would just go away. But if you had a teacher who would stand over your shoulder every time you practice, you would progress very rapidly. And what we have instead of that is we have our mistakes. So use mistakes as your teacher every time you encounter a mistake, a discomfort, a, a little bit of confusion, just stop and give yourself to that problem. And then you'll find an effortless way to overcome it with presence, with your mental presence, with you right there. Give yourself to the problem. <coughs> so the secret to changing chords is that we move all the fingers at the same time. So here's a D, and I'm going to change to A. So all my fingers went at the same time. Back to D, and then A. So simple. It's one of the simplest changes we can do. But often, I'll have a, a student will go, and then one finger goes up, and then the other, and, and then they come down. And so that's three times as long if you move one finger at a time, at least three times as long as going straight there. So it's really simple. The last shall be first. Just look at the chord change and determine which finger you put last. So in this case, I'm putting the third finger last. So the next time around, put that one first. So I'll put that one first and then I'll put the other two. So I'll do it again. And this time I'm observing now which finger went last now. So the last one was this one. So let's put that one first. And now I'm putting this one last. So let's put that one first. And what you'll find is ex exactly what's happening to me. Of course, I'm producing it artificially because I can already move the fingers at the same time. But as you focus on each finger and, their, and its movement, pretty soon you'll be able to make the change with all the fingers at the same time. So that's what I call it. It's an effortless method using mistakes, the mistake of moving fingers separately as your teacher and just observing which is last, make that first the next time and keep doing that until none of them are last because they all arrived at the same time. And then uh, there's no last, there's no first. All the fingers are together. So for more tips and tutorials and ideas, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Richard Miller, and visit our website, balanceguitar.com. Balance Guitar, begin with mastery.